Chapter 31 Escape You are listening at NovelFull.audio Reuben was so shocked and resentful, he wanted to cry right now. How could his causal word draw Ryland's attention? He was so afraid that he thought he had done something wrong and quickly answer, F.A. Family head Sister Gracie was with her servant when she came and now, he is missing. Reuben was anxious that no one would believe him, so he quickly grabs the big bag that was laying on the ground. However, the bag was open, and the movement Reuben picked it up colorful money bags start to drop like rain on the ground. Everyone saw this scene and they were shocked silly by this sudden development. All the participants saw those money bags and they cried in alarm one after another, that is my money bag. That one with flower pattern is mine. That black and white was mine I can even tell what's inside it. Everyone began to yell, Reuben was bewildered by this and he also spotted his money bag in the pile. He immediately took it from the pile and opened it and saw inside were his things. Sister Gracie you. Reuben looked at Gracie in shock. Rylan was so happy seeing this he couldn't describe it in words. He runs towards Gracie at full speed. Caden quickly followed behind Rylan because he knew Gracie has done something she shouldn't have and if Rylan didn't find what he was looking for then he would definitely punish her. He was afraid Rylan would harm her in his anger so he was ready to become her shield and accept punishment on her behalf. Gracie was shivering in her spot in fear and anxiety. Now, she had to tell Rylan everything truthfully if she wanted to live. Rylan didn't question Gracie at all and quickly snatched the bag from Reuben and Stats to search like a maniac for his ring. After searching every inch of the bag, he still could find the ring. Now he finally looked at Gracie coldly and all of sudden a mountain. Like pressure began to press down on her. She fell on her knees and can't even breathe because of that horrible pressure. Brother at least gives her a chance to explain. Caden calls in panic seeing Rylan's using full pressure of his cultivation on his daughter. Rylan take a deep breath and said to Gracie in a threatening voice, Tell me everything if you hide even a little, I will forget you are my niece. Gracie tells your uncle the truth, he would never harm you. Caden was comforting her or himself. I I I, he was from Wasteland and one month ago head butler. She starts to tell how she meets Ace and how he slowed her his special skill. She even confesses that she was the one who wanted him to steal from all the participants. I was blinded by greed. Please forgive me, uncle, father. Gracie pleads for mercy. She somewhat knew that bastard has screwed her over by leaving that bag behind. When Rylan, Caden, and everyone heard her story they were astonished by this boy. Just when did someone like this appear in the wasteland and have this kind of skill? Unfilial daughter. Caden's howl, he was trembling with anger. Now he finally understands why she didn't tell him when he asked her about that boy. He was also regretting, he didn't investigate enough and let that boy stay by his daughter's side. Furthermore, he was angrier at Gracie's thievery plan, if she would succeed and only rob the participants that would not be any problem for him to solve. But that boy somehow stole something from Rylan and that thing was very important. The most frustrating thing was that boy was now gone. Learning from Gracie's about Ace's special skill, Rylan instantly knows that boy is the one who stole his space ring. But he was extremely perplexed and astonished by the fact, how did he know that was a space ring and how the hell he steal it under my nose? Rylan didn't have time to waste so he coldly stated, five years in the dungeon and fifty whip strikes every month for five years. What do you think brother, Caden? Rylan coolly looked towards Caden after announcing Gracie's punishment. Gracie was still his niece so he can't kill her. But he can't forgive her blunder. I have no objection. Caden didn't want this, but she has become too willful and she even plans thievery. By doing so she hides important information about an outsider from family and now all this has resulted. Maybe I'm not a good father and now she turns out like this. Caden sighs sadly. Gracie hear her uncle's punishment and quiver in fear, she could live in the dungeon but those whip strikes were not a laughing matter. 
because receiving whips from someone one gate above her and for five years every month at that she would die from pain. She immediately looked hopefully with tearing eyes towards her father for rescue. Yet he completely agrees with her uncle. It was all that son of bitch fault. Gracie's shrill scream resounded in the entire venue and she fainted with anger and resentment. People around couldn't help but pity Gracie, it was clear that the boy planned all of this and used Gracie's greed to trap her. But alas now she has to spend her five years in the dungeon. Only fifteen minutes has passed search all the area of family territory, if you still can't find him search the entire city. I don't care who that boy was and where he came from, search for anything related to him. Also, those who were in charge of servant building and those elders who were supposed to watch the Wastelandians will be punished without mercy. Rylan announced sharply and quickly begins to search, he has to find that ring no matter the cost. Underscore 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 fifteen minutes earlier. Ace was watching Rylands like a hawk while using his soul sense at maximum potential. He has been using his soul chi and mentally tired but in the face of a storage space treasure, he didn't care. The moment Felix's cultivation gate begins to forms, Ryland's soul wave flickers slightly. Right at this moment, a soul thread shot towards Ryland's finger. Ace was very careful not to alert Ryland. Since Ace's soul core was still colorless a chi formation cultivators can sense soul threads if they concentrate using their chi and Rylan's was not far away from that step either. The soul thread was successfully wrapped around the ring on Rylan's finger. Ace takes a deep breath and waits for the perfect moment. But suddenly remembered something and he sends another soul thread towards Felix. When Felix's result was clear for everyone to see Ace noticed, Rylan has finally let his guard down. He quickly acted the pick, pocket and the next moment Felix's money bag was inside that long bag and Rylan ring was on his finger. Ace becomes excited, I get the ring. Heh, he didn't even hear a system voice in excitement. Now is not the time to celebrate I have to escape first. He quickly looked around and everyone has the same kind of expression as Rylan. He took advantage of the commotion and it was already late evening. Ace uses stealth and disappeared into the crowd but he left the full bag of these stolen goods behind for Gracie. Because he wanted everyone to know that all this was Gracie's plan. He has seen all those innocent wasteland boys who were always begging for their life but Gracie always killed them in ruthless ways. He didn't want her to escape by saying she didn't know anything and that's why he left that bag there as evidence. She can't find her way out of it now, once Felix or Reuben notice. He thought while escaping. In five minutes, he was already in front of the main gate of the Grant family and there was still no one chasing after him. Since it was a family meeting today the security was tight but for Ace it was nothing. No one notices him leaving. Ace was using silent steps and was heading towards the Kelby family. Now considering he has alerted the Grant family already. He has to find Eva and complete the system's mission. Eva has told him before that she is staying in her little cottage inside the Kelby family territory. Since Asher has gone with his uncle to find Ace. There he didn't need Eva because her skill was not enough in One Dot Star City so he ordered her to keep searching for clues on Black Ghost. Grant and Kelby's family territories were close to each other. At full speed, Ace has already reached the Kelby family gate in five minutes and he enters like a shadow. Kelby's family security was not as tight as Grant's family. It was also at this time, Rylan has started searching the guests' belongings. Ace remembered where Eva has told him to find her in the Kelby family after their plan was set in motion. Ace saw special marks that Eva has left behind on trees, only he can notice these marks because they were specifically for Ace. He followed those marks and saw a little cottage in an open field. It was very simple but much better than his old hut. He didn't even need to go inside because a graceful figure emerges behind him. 
Ace already noticed and smiled while turning around. She was obviously Eva. Eva let's commence as our plan we didn't have much time. Ace said with a smile Eva's fox dot like beautiful eyes shine when she heard Ace. Chapter 32 Thief Space You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. You were only there for one month and you already succeed in our plan this quick. Inquiry Eve suspiciously while narrowing her lovely eyes. The plan that was supposed to take at least one year just to set in motion was now complete in a month. This was simply unbelievable for Eva. Ace ignores her questioning gaze and hastily asks her, Just tell me this, when Ryland plant this mask on your face, did the contract vanished after he drips your blood on it, in his left hand? If this was true then Ace has succeeded in his quest to free Eva, but if not then he has somehow gone back to Grant's family again. Yes. It was like he was using some kind of secret skill. He simply takes this mask and item slave contract out of thin air. But why are you asking this out of blue? Eva was confused. Ha ha ha. Then this means, I succeed. It seems luck was with me this time. Ace laughs delightfully. He has to thanks the system if not for it he would have never found out about this space ring existence and even alert the Grant family after infiltrating their treasury. Eva looks around at Ace but she didn't see any bag or other staff with Ace. Besides, he was perspiring profoundly and his face was a little pale. He's empty. Hand, did he hit his head? Eva worriedly thought about her team leader and said with a hint of anxiety in her eyes, but you didn't have any bag of holding, where is the item slave contract? Ace was breathing heavily but there was a wide smile on his face, he he he. I'll tell you after we clean Kelby's family treasury. It has already been 15 minutes since I steal Ryland's ring he should have already started searching for me. We didn't have time to waste, where's the treasure? I'll be right back and then we'll leave this city. Ace's grin mysteriously and wanted to give her a big surprise after completing the system's mission. Eve looked at Ace's pale face with concerns but his eyes were full of vitality so, she trusts him and told him where the treasury was located. Kelby's family territory wasn't as big as Grant's family. They only have one main mansion and two other districts under their control so it wasn't hard for Ace to remember all the details. Don't alarm the family head of Kelby family he's a peak of Chi Gates realm expert, Eva reminds Ace warily. Don't worry even that Ryland couldn't find me what that old guy can do. Ace snorted and vanished in the direction that Eva gave him. The main mansion of the Kelby family was big and always protected by the elders of the family. It was where the main family lives. Ace was hiding behind a tree and observing the big mansion of the Kelby family. He didn't see anyone guarding the gates of the mansion but he could sense two powerful experts hidden nearby with his soul sense. Hmm. They are weaker than that elder who was hosting the meeting of the Grant family. It seems they're at the fourth gate of Chi Gates. Ace quickly guessed their cultivation base by comparing them with Ezekiel. Ace didn't have much time to waste because he knows if Ryland didn't find him in Grant's family territory, he would ask for the help from Kelby family and at that time they would also become alert as well. He has to do it quickly and without anyone noticing it. He used stealth and silent steps with his true and fails eyes simultaneously so he could see hidden traps as well as notice those two experts' sudden movements. Ace enters the mansion through the hidden passage that Eva told him about without alerting those two experts. Inside the mansion were quite large and there wasn't anyone here except for the attendants and the main family. Ace remembers and followed Eva's instruction and go towards a white pillar that was beside the stairs. When he gets close the pillar, a panel pop out that he didn't see for a while and heard the system's voice, equals 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 equals, target in range. Did the host want to scan the target? Cost. 10 thief points, equals 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 Ace snorted and ignore the system. Since he already knows everything about the treasury what is the point of wasting the thief points? He active tour and false eyes and saw a strange mechanism on the pillar. It was like Billy's shop hidden doors but more advanced. 
just like before he saw mysterious gray lines and a dark hole between them. He quickly active treasure opening hand second formed two fingers as key and arranged his metallic fingers on the hole. The hole vibrates a little and his finger started to sink in it. With a light, chic sound, the illusionary array disables and the pillar shows a hidden door. Ace fully activates his heavenly sense and confirms that they were no one behind this door. This door was not some simple door because Ace could see complex gray lines on it and it will not be opened by simple means after all the whole treasury of the Kelby family was probably behind this door. This array on the door was not an illusionary array, it was a locking array. After finding the dark hole, one position of the locking array, Ace closed his eyes and began to use the third form of treasure opening hands, pattern key. Ace three fingers started to turn silvery and a strange symbolic pattern surface on them. He places his silvery finger on the locking array, flaw or dark hole. With a little vibration, his finger sinks in it, and a light, pap, sound rang, which means the door was opened. Ace quickly opened the door and saw an underground passage. After confirming with his heavenly sense that there was no one, he went in. With silent steps, he reached the end of the pathway in seconds. At the end of the pathway, he saw a silver-colored door that was probably made of some special metal and the treasures were unmistakably behind this silver door. The Treasury of Kelby Family Ace's heartbeat races as he was filled with excitement. Ace used the true and false eyes and this time he saw two little dark holes in the silver door array. He now has some idea that the more powerful or flawless the array is the black holes would be hard to find and unlock as well. Now he has to use the fourth form of the treasure opening skill lock, eraser key. Ace commences operating the skill with both of his hands, his palms turn silvery and a single golden mysterious symbol started to form in the center of his palms. The golden symbol looks like a spike with tiny needles around it. Ace has practiced this skill the most after pick dot pocket and was a little bit away from mastering the fifth and final form. He places both pams on dark holes and the moment it happened the silver door trembled a little and the dark holes mysteriously started to spin. Ace felt the golden symbol started to suck his heavenly dot chi wildly and his face started to turn paler. The locking array on the silver door crack opens after 20 seconds. Ace was panting and exuding profoundly because he was drained after using the fourth form lock, eraser key, together with his eyes skill. Furthermore, he was continuously using soul chi form this evening that put a large burden on his mind and body. I should be able to escape with my remaining chi. Ace deemed weakly as he gradually opened the silver door. When the silver door opens, a strong medicinal aroma enters his nose and Ace felt his mind become a little clear. He immediately knew there were large numbers of alchemy pills in here and high dot quality ones at that. As Ace enters the treasury, his eyes brighten with glittering lights. He saw rows of shinning weapons and shelves of colorful pill bottles. But he didn't have much time left to appraise all of this. He quickly looked at the blue ring excitedly on his finger and questioned the system, system tell me, how can I use this storage ring? Ace didn't bring anything with him since he has this storage ring. He was thrilled about using this legendary storage ring. If a storage space treasures has owner then it is also bound by the owner's chi mark. Until the owner died or removes the QI mark of its own free will, no one can see inside or use the storage space treasures. The system has already deducted one TP on its own since the host seems to be in a hurry, system answered but this time its voice wasn't emotionless but a hint of playfulness was mixed within. But Ace didn't notice it at all because he was dumbfounded and started to panic after hearing, he can't use the storage ring without killing Rylan. He didn't even bring a bag after getting his hands of the space ring in excitement. Now how the hell he was supposed to bring all these treasures out? In his hand. A free suggestion for the host, check the message panel. System voice rang in his head but this time it was emotionless and cold like always. Ace snapped out of it by system voice and finally remembered that he has received some kind of notification when he steals the storage ring but he was in hurry to escape and didn't pay much attention to it at that time. Now that system points it out for him, 
he remembers about it and quickly opens the massage panel. Equals 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 message panel, pickpocket succeed, host steal, lowest, grade storage space treasure. One, lowest, grade pills, white, ranked pills. 393, low, grade pills, green, ranked pills, 0.102. Middle dot level low, grade pills, blue, ranked pills. 3, lowest, grade weapons, 1 dot star. 44, low, grade weapons, 2 dot star. 8, middle dot level low, grade weapon, 3 dot stars, 0.1, techniques and skills of lowest, level, mortal, level. For techniques, 9 skills, techniques and skills of low, level, warrior, level. 2 techniques, for skills, ruby coins. 12.4 million, chi, stones, trash, grade, low, level. 98,762, low, grade slave contracts, 2 dot stars. 3, medicinal herbs and metal ores of low, grade, green, ranked, 2 dot stars. 87 herbs, 52 metal ores, rewards. 653 thief points, thief points. 703, equals 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 Ace didn't dare to believe what he just saw. He rubs his eyes to check again, but that huge list was still there. That huge amount of TP was still there as well. He forgets that he was currently standing inside the treasury of the Kelby family as excitement fills his heart and laughs like a loony. I'm rich. That old guy hides his wealth well, he even has these pill, weapons, techniques, and even currency of upper dot level lands. Where the hell did, he gets this from. Ace muttered joyously but there was a hint of uncertainty in his eyes. Ace wasn't a brat of the outer region anymore. He has read an old book about kingdoms and knew they used cheap stones as currency. He also knows these warrior dot level skills and techniques were monopolized by them and if they find out that Grant's family has so many of them, they would probably annihilate the whole river flower city down to the last chicken in fury. That bastard surely robbed someone from a kingdom or he finds this ring somewhere. He thought grimly, and his guess was extremely accurate. Many years ago, Rylan finds an expert of a kingdom. That expert was gravely injured. Rylan was about to help him when he noticed him using the storage ring from afar. He was quite knowledgeable and he read about these legendary storage treasures in his family's secret records. These space treasures were managed by upper dot level lands just like skills. But one can get a storage ring if he has connections and chi stones. Ryland took advantage of the situation and killed that man and take the storage ring and all of his belonging in it. Ryland even burned his body to ashes and leave no trace behind so no one can trace it back to him. That's why Ryland was so panicked at that time when the storage ring vanished. He thought the kingdom whom the cultivator he had killed, tracked him down and want to avenge their dead member. But when he discovered, his ring was only stolen by a little boy of wastelands, he has a sigh of relief and starts to search for Ace before someone could figure out his biggest secret. Ace calms down and notices another message below this big list. Equals 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 equals, congratulation. The special conditions have been satisfied. Host now has a storage space treasure and more than 500 TP, dot, now host can unlock system's new function. Thief space of 10 cubic meters. Equals 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 flaws or defects in an array. Chapter 33 All Gone You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ace was bewildered by this particular notification and suddenly delight surfaces on his face, System doesn't this mean I don't need this space ring anymore and you can store my items for me. Are you also a storage space treasure? Ace thought that he finally figures out what kind of treasure system was, but not after hearing the system's hostile answer. No. The system is not a mere storage space treasure. Do you want to open thief space function or not? System rebuke in an emotionless voice. 
Ace guesses that he has angered the system by calling it a space treasure. Hence, he quickly changes the topic, how can I open this thief space? He asked in full of excitement and expectation. Just a mere thought about getting his own storage space make his blood boil. A storage space treasure of any rank and 500 thief points are required to unlock the thief space. So expensive. Ace growls out loud as his voice was filled with grievance. He was finally feeling like a rich man, seeing all these spoils and especially 700 plus TP. But now this black dot hearted system wanted his 500 TP all at once. Even that heaven stealer pill that was the most expensive thing in the system shop only cost 150 TP. How could he not be grieved by it? Do it. Ace is said in a mosquito voice. He felt his heart was bleeding after seeing his TP turn from 703 to 203. He quickly cheers himself up after thinking about this thief space function. Equals 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 equals, congratulation. Your thief storage space of 10 cubic meters has been unlocked. For next upgrade. You need 1000 TP and 2 storage space treasures of any ranked, to further increase the thief space by 40 cubic meters, thief space can only store non-living beings, if the host wants to store living beings inside. You need to upgrade it with 10 low. Grade storage space treasures and 5000 TP, equals 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 system cold voice transmitted inside Ace head. The blue space ring on his finger suddenly turns to dust and all of sudden, his soul began to feel agitated. After a moment pass, he suddenly felt, something new that was now part of his soul, and it was a baffling feeling. A piece of new information appeared in his brain at this moment and with a thought, a yellow old book appeared in his hand. This was the skill book that was stored in the blue ring before and now all the other things that were in the storage ring were inside his thief space. With just a thought that book vanished from his hand and reappeared inside his 10 cubic meters dark thief space. All those TP were worth it. But to upgrade this space I have to spend quite some TP it's simply too expensive, well this space is big enough for now. After getting the hang of the system's new function, Ace quickly focuses on the current task at hand and quickly starts to do his job. Ace didn't know what he was taking but he was storing anything that comes to contact with his hand. Since he has all those treasures from Kingdom, he didn't expect much from this treasury of the mere Kelby family. After running around tirelessly, he finally cleans the entire room that was glittering with treasure five minutes ago. After watching this clean, empty room, he nodded in satisfaction, mission complete. Time to escape. He quickly closed the silver door and run towards the exit. After coming out of the white pillar's hidden door, he closed it, and that array was active again and it becomes a white pillar again. No one will be able to tell without going inside, the treasury was already emptied. Ace exits from the hidden door. After successfully escaping from the mansion he heads straight towards Eva's cottage to pick her up and leave this city. He didn't want to leave his birthplace, but without doing it he couldn't become strong and meet with his little sister. Ace quickly approached Eva's cottage and she was already waiting for him outside the door anxiously. Did you succeed? Eve asked him hastily with concerned eyes. Ace grinned broadly and answered, just who do you think I am? I'll tell you about the details later first we have to leave the city. It is going to be a huge commotion tomorrow. Hmm. Your bag seems quite heavy it will slow you down let me take care of it. Finished saying he touched the big bag in Eva's hand and store it inside his thief space. Eva was about to decline his offer when she saw her bag was disappeared in thin air. It was the same scene that she saw Rylan doing all those years ago and it left a deep impression on her mind that's why she still remembers it. But now Ace was doing the same kind of thing. She was startled and asked in bewilderment, you. How? Before she could inquire any further Ace quickly said, I'll tell you everything after we leave this city now let's go, we didn't have much time. He used silent steps again and runs towards the main gate of the Kelby family. He didn't use stealth fully because Eva could not follow him with the stealth at its peak. 
Eva has too many questions, but Ace was in a hurry so she could only follow him and ask later. They left Kelby's family with ease and head towards the inner region gate. That night two silhouettes disappeared into the forest outside of River, Flower City. Before disappearing one of those two figures stopped moving and turns around to see the beautiful city one last time. It smiled and said, I'll be back. And disappeared inside the vast forest. After five minutes Eva and Ace left the Kelby family, Ryland's figure appeared outside the gate of the Kelby family. Ryland didn't look like his normal calm and aloof self. He was disheveled and panting heavily. He has searched the entire Grant family and couldn't even find Ace's shadow. Then he has no choice but to come here to seek help from his son-in-law the current family head of the Kelby family. It was disgraceful but he could not think of any other way. He didn't want others to find out about that storage ring. If this secret were exposed, he will be dead with his entire family or maybe with the entire city. Kelby family has a special treasure that can find a person by their unique smell. He has that big bag in his hand that Ace holds this morning, this was his last chance and he has to succeed no matter the cost. Rylan directly enters the gate and heads straight towards the main mansion of the Kelby family. Those gate guards become startled by this sudden intruder and are about to raise the alarm when they saw Ryland's face, they quickly recognize him and let him pass. Ryland quickly appeared outside of the big mansion and was about to charge into it when he felt two chi were locked on him. Humph. He snorts coldly and released the pressure of his cultivation base. Those two elders were immediately come from hiding and bow to Ryland, we greet Master Grant please forgive our previous offense. Rylan didn't have time for a chat and shout, Lila. Samyan. Come out and see me right now. Rylan directly called the family head by his name and those two elders smiled wryly on the side. Only he has the guts to call him like that if it was anyone else, they would have died by now. Rylan used his cultivation base to amplify his voice and the entire area was rang with his sound. The gate of the mansion opens and a man in his late thirties walks out with a beautiful woman beside him. She resembled Rylan a little but she was more charming. She was Rylan's daughter Lila Grant and Asher's mother. The man beside her was the current family head of the Kelby family and Asher father Sumyen Kelby. Sumyen could see Rylan was not looking so good by his pale complex and his hair was a tangled mess. He immediately asked, what happened to you? Beside him, Lila also saw her father's condition and asked anxiously, Father why are you looking like this? Did something happen? Rylan saw his daughter worried expression and couldn't help but felt little warmth in his heart. But he quickly remembered that if he didn't find that brat he and his entire family would be exterminated. It is like this. He quickly explained the events that unfold today, he stole our clan mortal grade skill, and I need to find him before he escapes somewhere else. Sun Yen lends me your clan, all direction compass and after I find that brat, I can lend my family mortal skill to Kelby family for six months. He quickly changed his space ring with mortal grade skill, since it was really in it, he wasn't telling any lie. Sun Yen eyes glow when he heard Rylan promised. Even those elders who were standing on the side grasps. Sum Yen always wanted to learn that skill but Rylan never let him. But now he was offering it for six whole months how could he not be agreed with him? Ha ha ha, father-in-law we are family since that bastard dares to steal from you it means he steals from me. Let's go inside and I fetch that compass for you from the treasury. He didn't wait for Rylan's agreement and quickly proceed towards the treasury. He was afraid Rylan would change his mind and go back on his words. Lila snorted after hearing her husband's shameless words. She knew him more than anyone else. He would not do anything until he saw benefits in it. She ignored him and said to Rylan in a gentle tone, Father come inside and rest for a while that little slave can't run far, we will find him with the all-dot direction compass. He can't escape. Lila said confidently because that all direction compass can even find someone from miles away not to mention that it was night impossible in their eyes to imagine that the thief can escape the city in due time. 
Rylan relaxes a bit after hearing her guarantee and accepts her offer and head inside. Since those two elders were already here Lila invites them for some tea politely and they accept the offer. Anyway, they also wanted to find that brat or more accurately that mortal dot grade skill. Rylan and those two elders have just entered the mansion when they heard some yen shrill screams like a dog who was about to die, nnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnnn
That's was their original plan but Ace has done all of this in half an hour and he even gets a legendary item like storage space treasure. How could Eva not be stunned silly? F.O. Waff. So, what, Ace answered smugly while eating. Humph. Slow down or you might choke to death. She puffed after seeing Ace's pleased face. However, Eva has to admit this 12.year.old guy has just robbed two of the most powerful families of a 2.star city in half an hour. She secretly admires him in her heart. Tell me how do you find out about Rylan's space ring and how did he get it? I don't know how he gets it but one thing is clear, he can't buy these things like space ring and all these techniques even if has the wealth. My guess is he finds this space ring on the corpse of someone from a kingdom. As for how I find out about that space ring, hee hee, that's a trade secret. Ace grinned mysteriously. Furthermore, before Ace has some doubts about the system, but after the system gave him a storage space like thief space like it was nothing and he even has the option to upgrade it. He was sure now that this system has come from outside of this world. And he would never tell anyone about the system, not even his little sister. It's not like he didn't trust Alina, it's just that he didn't want to bring her any troubles. Because if one day someone comes looking for his secrets or the system they might have some kind of heaven.defining treasure. Hence, he decided that he would never tell anyone about it. Fine fine. I know you have your own secrets so, I won't ask again. Now give me the contract so I can get rid of this cursed mask. Eva was displeased seeing Ace acting all mysterious and finally give up. She just wanted to free herself from this mask now. Ace didn't delay either and take out three thin stone slates. There were mysterious patterns engraved on them. These stone slates were item slave contracts. Slave marks were the weakest forms of a slave contract, they were normally used on mortals and some of weaker Chi Gates realm cultivators. Slave marks can be planted on someone by taking their blood on slave contracts and if one isn't strong enough they can't resist. But Eva's mask was a higher dot level slave contract, it was an item slave contract. It was a set of one item and one contract together. She was a devil so she can't be bound by those normal slave contracts even if she was not strong. However, Rylan has found this item slave contracts in that space ring. They were especially used on Chi Foundation building realm or other races with special abilities. He thought that since Eva was a half. Devil she will be strong in the future that's why he planted this slave item on her so he could control her in the future. If she wanted to free herself from this item slave contract she has to break through into Chi River realm, a realm above Chi Foundation building realm. Which one is yours? Ace showed her those three stone slates Eva's eyes brighten when she saw those slave contracts. She quickly points towards one in the center on this contract was a mysterious pattern that looked like a fox, that one. Give it to me. Eva said excitedly. Ace didn't say anything and give the contract to her, because he also wanted to free her since he considers her his first friend. Eva quickly grabs the contract and then she used her full power to shatter the stone slate with the fox-like engraving. The moment the stone slate shatters the mask that tormented Eva for all these years begins to crack and shatter. When the mask on her face was shattered Eva's face was revealed for the first time in many years. Ace saw her face and was instantly bewitched by it. Eva had an oval face that was clear of any impurities. Her skin was creamy and tender, and unexpectedly, she was in no way inferior to little Alina. A mature breathtaking beauty. With a charming smile on her face, she was looking at Ace with her fox dot like hazel eyes, and her graceful figure starts to exude an imposing manner. Along with the power coursing in those eyes of hers, she could easily have been mistaken as an aloof otherworldly being. Ace nearly forget to breathe after seeing Eva's charming face. Before he thought that only Alina could have this kind of face when she would mature but now seeing another beauty on the same level as Alina he was mystified. Eva saw Ace was drooling while he was looking at her like a fool. A smile bloom on her beautiful face. But there were also tears in her eyes. I'm finally free from this cursed. 
she thinks as she clears the tears from her eyes. Why are you gawking at me like an idiot? Didn't you see any beautiful girl before? Eva teases Ace as she giggles. Ace snapped out of his daze and quickly noticed a droll on his lips and he blushed. He was having a hard time just looking away from Eva's face. She is really beautiful. Ace suddenly felt a strange feeling in his body. But before he could find out he felt Eva's power was rising rapidly and become serious. Eva also feels her cultivation starts to increase at a rapid pace. She has only opened the second gate of Chi gates in all these years. Now in an instant, third gate was already opened, and her cultivation was still rising. Fourth gate of the Chi gates. But it still didn't stop here. In seconds Eva's aura skyrocket and she opened the fifth gate. Eva's cultivator finally stopped at the peak of Chi Gate's realm. She was only a single step away from entering the Chi Foundation building realm. Th this, what happened? Eva was bewildered. Chapter 35 Job, Mission Unexpected Rewards You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ace was also overwhelmed. He didn't expect that she could reach the same level as Rylan in instant. I think it has something to do with that slave mask. He makes a wild guess. My thoughts exactly. She was agreed with Ace. They were right. It has happened because the scariest thing about these item slave contracts is they would never let their hosts to break through into Chi River Realm. The slave item on the host body would always be sucking on their chi continuously and make it extremely difficult just to break through to a small realm much less a whole full realm. But if somehow the host of the item manages to break through into the chi river realm, the slave item would release all the chi that it stole from its host for all those years and self.destruct on its own. And the host of the slave item would turn into meat paste with the slave item itself. Rylan wasted this precious item slave contract from a kingdom on Eva so he could control her, but even he didn't know that this item has been sucking more than half of Eva's chi in all these years. That was also the reason she was still stuck at the second stage of Chi Gate's realm even after she was a half-dot-devil. Now the contract has been lifted so all that chi that was stored in that mask for years was given back to Eva and she reached the peak stage of Chi Gate's realm in one step. Furthermore, since Eva was a half-dot-devil, she doesn't have any bottleneck in her cultivation until she reached the Chi River realm. Eva thought emotionally, I think this is the reward I get after all my years of suffering. Now she was truly free. Ace was still staring at Eva's charming face, he couldn't help but deem, having a powerful beauty like Eva as a team member isn't a bad thing at all. Ace was daydreaming when Eva's focus shifted on him again and he quickly looked away in panic and blushed a little as if he was caught doing something wrong. Eva tittered seeing Ace's silly expression and said, You should eat first, I'm going to cultivate because of the sudden increase in my power, and I think I awoke some new memories of my devil lineage. Therefore, don't disturb me and stop peeping at me from the corner of your eye if you want to look then just look at not like I'm stopping you. After all, even I didn't see how I look now after all these years and you are the first person to see me, but from your expression, I think my face is not that bad. Eva chortled as she teases Ace, whose face has become redder after getting caught red.handed. Ace forced himself to shift his attention on his meal from Eva's face. He was feeling a strange kind of sensation today that he was very confused about. Why did I act like an idiot? It's not like I didn't see this kind of beauty before. He starts to eat again and Eva sits on the corner of the cave while muttering something. She was cultivation her devil clan cultivation technique. After finishing his meal, he feels a lot better. He suddenly remembers something and quickly transmitted in his mind eagerly, system I complete my second mission so where are my rewards? He has gained more than 500 TP by coincidence and now he has completed his mission perfectly so he was expecting great rewards. Especially that job mission, he was curious about it the most. The black mission panel appears in front of Ace's eyes. Equals 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 equals, staring the evaluation process, mission panel, honorable thief's dignity. 
someone is trying to steal from a thief and this is unacceptable. Consequently, the host has to show the despicable stealer who's the real thief is. The host has to empty the whole Kelby family treasury. The honor of a thief is in your hand host. Status. Complete, scanning host performance, 1. 2.3, 100% complete, result, performance rating. Average, rewards will be 2x for the first 3 missions, second 2x reward will be given now, 2x reward, exp equals 5000, soul points, sp, equals 2000, thief points, tp, equals 850, rewards have been added to host status, equals 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 equals, second reward. Job mission has been given, job mission. Host has to do honorable thievery at a city lord's mansion of the number one city in the low, level lands. Lands of cities, rewards, thief panel will be unlocked, a shop will be updated, other rewards based on host performance, the time. Five years. Punishment on failing. System will stop working for 50 years. Equals 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 Ace viewed all this information and listened to the system in excitement, but when he heard his performance was only rated as average he was dumbfounded and questioned the system in anger, why average? This time I didn't even get noticed by anyone. Equals 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 equals, system will consider this first free question of the host. System evaluates the host performance according to the thievery criteria set by the system. No doubt, the host did an excellent job by doing his mission diligently. However, the host has forgotten to do the most important thing in both of his mission. That is the host didn't leave his honorable thief's name behind. A thief's honorable name is like a second life. If the other party didn't know who robbed them how could they spread your fame throughout the world? If the host would have left his name on the scene, the system would evaluate host performance a level higher. Secondly, the host didn't steal everything. The treasury door, its array, and the traps are all considered treasures inside the treasury. Consequently, the host cannot get any higher evaluation. Lastly, there are not all the mistakes that the host has made but the system can only tell you according to your zero-dot-level authority. If the host wants to know more, upgrade your authority level. Equals 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 the system gives Ace a long yet passionate explanation. Ace becomes inarticulate after hearing all this nonsense, she wants me to leave my name so they can spread my fame. Bullshit. It's more like they will spare no effort to hunt me down. And I even have to steal that big door and that array as well now. First, I have to know how the hell I'm supposed to detach them without anyone catching me first, and even this is not enough to give me a perfect rating. He nearly blew his top and swore out loud. He didn't want to bicker with the system, since he didn't know when it would take his precious question away so he endured. Ace could only calm down after seeing all those bountiful rewards. Where is this number one city? Well, I will find out soon enough when I reach Red Mountain City. And what is a thief panel? Ace's face turned grave when he thought about this job mission. He really wanted to ask the system but he didn't want to waste his precious question. He questioned after some deliberation. System tell me where you come from. Host has not enough authority. Then why do you choose me? This question was in his mind for a very long time. Host has not enough authority. Then why a thief of all professions? This was another one of the most important questions that he always wanted to ask. A somewhat knew for a fact that the system can cultivate him into anything, he can be an alchemist or crafter or even a rune crafter that he hears from the system that time. He even can become a powerful warrior with all these mysterious skills and especially with the heaven stealer technique. But why a thief? He didn't expect any answer from the system about this question either, but unexpectedly system answered, a thief is free and can do whatever he wants. He isn't bound by any regulations of society or he has to follow any rules of a nation. If he is strong enough he isn't even bound by the laws of heaven itself. 
So why become an alchemist or a crafter when you can just take those things made by them with a mere thought? Why become a warrior when you can just steal your enemies everything and become an even worse nightmare for them? Why fight in light when you become a sovereign in darkness? Remember well host a thief is free. Ace instantly fell into a trance-like state after hearing system words he didn't expect that a thief can be described in such a way it was like a barrier has been broken and his cultivation starts to advance. After 10 hours, Ace finally come back to his senses and felt his muscles can resonate with Chi just like his skin. He could even feel his bones were also undergoing a tremendous change. I've entered the third gate of the Heaven's Gates realm in one night. I think it was because of experience and some kind of mysterious power in system words that made me understand the Heaven Stealer technique more deeply. A thief is free huh? He remembered with a simper on his face. Chapter 36 I want everything. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ace transmitted, show my status. Equals 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 equals, status panel, host. Ace white, race. Human, no bloodline, heaven. First mortal sky heaven, martial cultivation. Heavenly gates, third heavenly bones gate, DXP, 450 slash 5000, soul cultivation. Yellow wind soul core, SP, 999 slash 1000, extra. 1031, thief points, TP. 1053, skills. 5. Stealth Basic. High, the Silent Steps Basic. High, True False Eyes Basic. Middle, Treasure Opening Hands, Basic Art. Fourth Form, Pickpocket. Middle, Cultivation Technique. 2. Heaven Stealer Technique Volume 1, Dual Shadow Swords, Current Mission. 1. Equals 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 Ace was astonished by his status and quickly used his heavenly sense, and to his surprise, now he could see or sense 30 meters of the area around him. I didn't expect that my soul cultivation would go up as well. And according to the system, my soul is already equal to the heavenly foundation building realm. Ace became ecstatic just thinking about the heavenly foundation building realm. This was really an expected surprise. Ace formed soul threads on his fingers and now each finger could form two threads, also they were not colorless anymore now they were yellow. This was the heavenly soul chi after he forms the yellow wind soul core of the black wind soul technique. But only Ace could see it or another soul cultivator who was a whole realm above him. After testing his soul cultivation for some time, he shifts his attention elsewhere. Now he has more than 1000 TP he couldn't help but smiled ear to ear, and said. System open the shop. Ace can now buy other things from the system shop, last time he didn't have many TP so, he didn't pay much attention to the shop's other items. But now he has more than enough equals 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 equals, system shop, available skill books, available cultivation technique, available weapons, available pills, equals 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 Ace saw one by one, the skill book has not been changed and the same goes for technique and pills. Ace open weapons panel. Equals 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 equals, available weapons, black blade sword set. One short, sword, one long sword, first grade weapons, price. 30 thief points. 2. Dot face mask, average illusionary formation item, a price. 80 thief points. Invisible bead. 5 available, one time use for 1 minute, a price. 50 thief points per bead, equals 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 ace saw this time the weapon's descriptions have been changed and grads have appeared in front of them except invisible bead. He was astonished and asks the system, System what is this first dot grade information mean? He was quite perplexed because he knows even those blue, ranked alchemy pills and three dot star weapon were only low dot grade levels in system evaluation. Now he saw first dot grade emerged in system shop and he never even heard about formation before. 3 TP required. System asked in an emotionless voice. Take them. A said annoyingly, 
he was still no use to this. There are nine dot grades of alchemists, crafters, and rune crafters in entire mortal sky heaven. First to ninth grade alchemists can create pills from first to ninth grade. Same goes for crafters they can create weapons from first to ninth grade, as for the rune crafters 1st to 9th level rune crafter can engrave runes on any object included weapons and pills. These runes are called rune symbols and they are also divided between 9 grades. Rune symbols are the essence of rune crafting. An array can only contain 9 rune symbols. After the array came the rune formations. A formation can contain more than 9 rune symbols and it is much powerful. And how many rune symbols can one engrave are depend on the material. As for what is above the ninth grade, the host has to upgrade his authority to know about this information. The system can only give this much information with host current authority level. Ace felt a brand. New world has been opened to him after hearing this new information. His heartbeat raced because if these weapons and formations are as powerful as the system describes them to be doesn't that mean he can be invincible if this world didn't even have a 1st grade weapon. He didn't even hear of Rune Crafter before much less about this formation. But now he saw a formation item in the system shop for sale and that item was only for 80 TP. He asked in excitement, system then how is this first grade weapons listed in this world? According to system analysis of host memories and knowledge, first grade weapons should be above 9. Star weapons. The host didn't have much knowledge about this world power order, that's why the system can't answer this question with 100% accuracy. Ace only heard, above 9. Start weapons and said promptly, System, I want to buy everything. He was afraid that the system would change the weapon shop since he now knew what it means to have treasures of this level. Purchased has been successful. Everything has been delivered to host thief space. Thief points, TP. 690, Ace didn't care about 360 TP since he has spent them on first grade treasures. He quickly checks his thief space. Inside, with all those stolen goods in the corner appeared a set of beautiful pitch dot black double dot edged swords. The short dot sword was 1 dot feet long and 2 dot inches wide while the long dot sword was 3 dot feet long and 3 dot inch wide. Besides the sword set was a half black and half white mask on its edges was engraved more than 9 rune symbols, it was clearing a formation. Lastly, there were 5 grey small beads filled with mysterious rune symbols. Ace becomes extremely happy seeing all these great items. He really wants to test them now especially those two black swords. He felt some kind of connection with them for some reason. Eva was still cultivating while her eyes were tightly closed, Ace thought for some time and decided to test these swords while traveling this forest. It was filled with demonic beasts after all. He takes out the black and white mask after he gave up on the idea of testing the swords. The moment he touched the mask the information of how to use it was transmitted into his brain by the system. He was quite impressed by this mask after he read all the information. This mask can change his face into two different persons. He just has to select the target and let the mask formation scan it. After, the mask formation will create the illusion of the same face. This formation can even fool Chi River cultivators. With this mask, I don't have to be afraid of Gant or Kelby family even if I go back to River.Flower City now. But since I'm on my new journey and with this new job mission I have to travel towards the upper.level cities. At least with this mask in new places I can always hide my face and do my mission with another face. He he he, he grins evilly after thinking about the advantages of the two-dot-face mask. He put the mask back into his thief storage space and after clearing his thoughts he starts to cultivate his dual shadow swords. His heavenly chi has already been replenished after he breakthrough into the third gate of heavenly gates. Ace's soul and body have already experienced a breakthrough in cultivation so he was focusing on dual shadow swords. It was his only technique that he still can't cultivate properly no matter how much he tries but Ace has a firm heart and did not give up because he knows this technique can be his life.saving technique if he successfully cultivates it. 
underscore 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 after two hours. Ace was cultivating his shadow duel swords technique the whole time but he still didn't make any progress, and he was depressed about it. Eva opens her beautiful eyes after her full night of cultivation and now she was looking more like some fairy. She smiled after seeing Ace frowning face and said in her charming voice, you didn't seem happy about something. Ace was awakened by Eva's mild voice and saw her smiling face. He couldn't help but admire her face when he saw it again. He said with a forced smile, no it's nothing serious. On the other hand, you seem quite happy about something did you get something amazing in your memories? Yes, I get two new skills and they're quite powerful so I need some time to master them. But don't worry it won't affect our journey. Let's continue our voyage to Red Mountain City. Said Eva. They begin their journey again. Ace said as they passed trees, I didn't see any demonic beasts in our way did they not live in this forest. He wanted to test his swords but he couldn't find any beasts to test them so he asked Eva since she was more knowledgeable than him. They are many high, level demonic beasts here but they're deep in the forest were just about to enter their territories. Eva answer in a serious voice. Ace becomes serious after hearing her, he knows what these demonic beasts are capable of they aren't just any normal chi beasts that he eats. They were demonic beasts of beast race. Beast race is number 5 on the ranking of races in the golden, sky world just below the humans. Chapter 37 Dual Shadow Swords Technique You are listening at NovelFull.audio Beast race is the most ancient race of the golden, sky world. It is even ancient than devil race. The beast race was actually the true inhabitant of this world. But one day other races start to emerge out of nowhere. This completely enraged the beast race the true masters of this world and a huge war broke out. No one know how this great war ended but it did clearly not end in the favor of the beast race. Because in the end the entire world split into ten pieces and the beast race who were supposed to be the true owner of this world was ended up in the fifth rank. But to this day the best race was still found all over the world. The demonic beast was a branch of the beast race that lived in the azure, wind continent. They can cultivate like beast race but they cannot transform into human form after they reached a threshold like true beast race. Ace and Eva were now deep into this vast unknown forest. They were still relatively far before reaching the Red Mountain City and needed to travel at least four more days to reach their destination. In this region of forest, the demonic beasts frequently roamed. This was the first time Ace has been so far away from River, Flower City, his heart was somewhat excited but also vigilant. Eva was also very excited. She did travel before with her father, but she didn't remember much about that journey, she was very young at that time. And her mother was just passed away so, it wasn't a pleasant memory. While traveling on the dirt road, Ace suddenly noticed some movements behind him. He operated his heavenly chi and gathered it at his feet and was ready to activate silent steps so that he could quickly dodge or attack at any time. Eva something is approaching us. Get ready for the battle. If we can't defeat it then I'll buy you some time to escape. He has just warned Eva about the danger. Schwa 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 when he saw a big tiger with a horn was coming towards them at high speed. He had not expected that he would encounter a demonic beast this early after they just enter this part of the forest. The expression in the horned tiger's eyes was very dull and filled with murderous intent. One could tell that he was here to hunt for his meal. As soon as the tiger appeared Ace took out a set of inky swords from his thief's space. Ace felt as if they were part of his arm the moment he held those swords in his hands. He didn't have time to understand that feeling because that horned tiger has already leaped towards Ace at full speed. The horned tiger's attack was although simple but at the same time was also quick and ruthless. At the moment it leaped, two black lights flickered in Ace's eyes, Heavenly Chi released from his whole body, as Heavenly Chi suddenly poured into his swords. The long dot sword burst out with a mysterious aura and Ace slashed his sword in a circular motion, 
a long arch congealed from heavenly chi appeared in the air, it quickly swooped towards the incoming horned tiger, like a black beam of light. The moment that beam touched the horned tiger, Chi, the horned tiger didn't even have a chance to understand what has happened because he saw that his left and right dot side vision starts to become distant. That was the last thing the horned tiger see before its eyes became noticeably sluggish and lost their luster and he split into two halves. Dead. That horned tiger in front of the sword beam of heavenly chi that was being generated from the dual shadow swords technique was like butter being in front of a hot knife. Its body was easily cut down in half with just a sweep of the sword slash. Only with the help of a powerful and profound technique like dual shadow swords was it possible to congeal chi into something tangible. In this life and death situation Ace has comprehended the first realm of the dual shadow swords technique, sword as arm, all of this happened within few seconds, Eva didn't have a chance to react and help him. When everything was over, Eva comes to her senses she saw a huge tiger was laying on the ground in two pieces. She hurriedly moves close to Ace who was standing in a trance while holding two swords. Are you okay? She asked him with concern. Ace didn't notice Eva's arrival because he was in an enlightened state. So that's what it means by, sword as arm, he has comprehended the first realm in this life and death situation and mostly with the help of these two swords. Without these two swords, I can't imagine how long would it take me to understand the true meaning of this technique. Now I know why I felt that feeling the first time because these swords were made for the dual shadow swords technique. Ace was still in a daze when he felt something soft was touching his face and he heard Eva's anxious voice, Hey. Are you okay or not? Do you need any medicine pills I have some in my bag? She was panic after seeing Ace didn't reply to her and she placed her hand on his face to check if he was alright. I'm fine don't worry, I just have an insight on my technique. Sorry to make you worried for nothing. He said in embarrassment after seeing her so worried about him, he felt slightly warm in his heart as it was rare for someone else besides his family or sister to care about him. She's really nice to me. Humph. You scared me for nothing. Since you're fine then tell me what was that technique and where did you get these amazing swords? Did you get them from Ryland's storage ring? Since Ace was alright, she relaxed and starts to question him like some curious child. Ace smiled lightly after seeing Eva returning to her usual self. He retrieved something from his thief's space. It was a blue one dot feet long and one dot inch wide single edge short sword. There were two blue gems on its hilt. It was clearly a sword for women. Here this sword is a two-dot star weapon. I find it inside Ryland's storage ring, this is for you. Use it until we reach the city since it is dangerous in this region of the forest. Once we reach there you have to give it back because we can't show this kind of weapon in open. He gives that short sword to Eva. Eva's eyes instantly brighten seeing the beautiful short sword. She didn't hear Ace's warning and quickly grabs the sword and stars to swing it around to test it. A short sword is very suitable for her shadow, devil clan skills. She smiled after she checks the sword and said, You don't have to worry about me I can hide this sword with my new skill that can change my appearance, it can even change treasure appearance. It's an illusion skill of the shadow, devil clan. Eva wave her hand and Chi starts to form a blue mist, this blue mist enveloped that sword completely. After a moment the mist faded and that sword turns into a normal dot looking sword. Beside her, Ace exclaims after seeing this skill and couldn't help but think, it is more useful than my two dot face mask. But when he used true and false eyes, he saw the normal dot looking sword turn into its original appearance. It appears she didn't master this skill to its full potential. It can only deceive early Chi Foundation building realm cultivator. Eva didn't know that Ace has already checked her skill true prowess. She wrapped her hands around her big chest and said haughtily, What do you think of my shadow deception skill, with it I can even change my appearance and don't have to be afraid of the Chi River realm cultivators after mastering my skill to the perfection. For now, it can only work against the early dot stage Chi Foundation building realm. But it's enough in Red Mountain City. 
Ace was bewildered after seeing Eva showing her beautiful curves. He quickly looked down while he replied with a slightly reddened face, Why? Yes. It is a very good skill. To not embarrass himself further he starts to collect the big tiger meat that was now into two pieces. He didn't notice that Eva's eyes become even gentler while she was looking at him. She thought emotionally while she tenderly looked at him, after you have done all these things for me and free me from my nightmare. You didn't even blink when you said you'll cover for me. You are really an honest and caring person. Now only you are worthy of knowing everything about me and I will show my true self only in front of you, as for others I'll become a true shadow, devil. Eva makes her resolve. Ace notices a change in Eva's mood but didn't pay much attention to it, since he thinks it was because of the new sword he gives her. He was just done collecting all the meat of demonic horn, tiger when he hears the system's voice in his mind, you have killed a demonic beast of second gate. You have earned 10 EXP, EXP, 460 slash 5000. Chapter 38 Red Mountain City Part 1, You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio. Ace nearly jumps from the sitting position in delight. He didn't dare to believe what he just heard and asked System in excitement, System are you telling me that I can earn EXP by killing these beasts? Yes. If host kills any living being with QI or soul QI, the host can earn EXP and soul points. System answered his question without asking for TP for the first time in a while. He nearly cries from the happiness he thought that system has finally changed its wicked ways for the better and asked again, did this mean I can ask any question and you won't ask for TP anymore? No. Since host finds this method on his own, system answer this question for free. She crushed his happiness in instant. Ace thought weirdly, why didn't I feel shocked by this anymore? Overall he was thrilled after making this discovery about EXP and SP. He looked at the dense forest and his eyes twinkle, you all are now my EXP, he he. Ace and Eva travels in the forest for ten days. The reason for the delay in their journey was Ace's obsession with demonic beasts. Every time he sees or even felt the presence of a demonic beast if it was a Chi Foundation building realm he would escape with Eva. But if that beast was only at the realm of Chi Gate's realm he would always hunt it down. He has even killed a peak.level Chi Gate beast with Eva's help. Because of these continuous battles, his improvement in his technique and skills were massive. He finally understands the meaning of being a weapon cultivator. The more I fight the more I can understand the weapon technique and improve my skills quickly. He thought gleefully. Eva's skills also improved with her lineage inheritance memories and a little bit of ace helps. She always saw him fight using his dual shadow swords technique and learn a lot about how to use chi with swords just by watching him, she admires him even more after seeing him in action. Today they finally come out of the vast forest extension and saw a high red mountain peak in distance. That peak was the red mountain peak and the one dot star red mountain city was situated on that mountain peak. Ace couldn't help but grin after seeing the red mountain in distance. But he was even more pleased about something else and that was his EXP. EXP, 2010-5000, since he has killed many higher dot level demonic beasts he has earned quite a lot of EXP. Ace also finds out that if he killed a demonic beast a small realm above him he could get more EXP. When he killed that peak dot level demonic beast he earned 100 EXP in one fell swoop. Furthermore, every time he gains EXP, his heavenly chi becomes denser. But he still felt it was a shame that he didn't get any SP in his whole journey. He has already reached the peak of Yellow Wind Core and he already has sufficient SP to break through to the next level. But the problem was he has to gain insight on it first before he can break through to the next soul cultivation realm. Ace look there's a carriage. Ace was still deep in thought when he heard Eva's sweet and exciting voice. He also saw a carriage in the distance which was slowly moving forward on an avenue. This must be an avenue that led to Red Mountain City since these types of roads were only built near a big city. Ace become excited after seeing this carriage on the avenue because he knew they weren't too far away from the city. 
It seems like we already enter the territory of the Red Mountain City. You should get ready. He said to Eva in a knowing tone. Eva smiled sweetly after hearing his meaningful words and a blue mist form around her goddess-like face. After a moment her beautiful face completely changed into another simple face. She looks completely different from before. This was Ace's plan to make her changed appearance before entering the city. After all the experience in his home city, he was afraid that with looks like Eva she would definitely attract the attention of others and not in a good way either. She still looks beautiful but not as much as before. Ace beamed seeing her changed appearance and said, We don't have any identity crystal that's why we have to sneak inside. I'm confident that I can sneak inside without any problem but I'm worried about you. Humph. Don't worry my Shadow Devil Clan's technique isn't inferior to yours. She retorted with a puff, but inside she was quite happy after seeing him worried about her. Ace didn't say anything just laughed. After traveling with her for 10 days he knew better than anyone that if someone underestimates her just because she's was a 17 years old girl then they have a lot of pain coming in their way. After 30 minutes of walking Ace stared at that avenue in the distance, he was vaguely able to see large walls at the peak of the mountain and the Red Mountain City huge gate which was not too far away from him. The Red Mountain was just like its name suggests it was completely red in color. There was a legend about its red color, people of the city tell the stories about the evil cultivator who used to live in this mountain and he kills thousands of people here for his cultivation technique. Blood flows in this mountain like a river and it turned crimson because of the curse of the innocent. But many people didn't believe in this tale because if this mountain was cursed then why the hell this city is a one-dot-start city. Many people believe that this mountain has some kind of mysterious natural treasure that's why it turns into red color. Many people including the cultivators wanted to solve this mystery but they can't because if they wanted to search for the treasure they have to go inside the city lord mansion territory. The city lord family has occupied half of the entire mountain peak and no one was allowed to trespass into their territory if they value their life that is. Because to this day whoever even step inside the territory of the city lord mansion unnoticed that person will never come back. It was like they would all vanished in thin air. After those curious and greedy people who wanted to search for treasures saw all those people vanished they completely gave up on their curiosity or greed. Some stubborn and angry people who think that the city lord was hiding a great treasure alone wanted to report this to their overseer kingdom or some stronger one-dot-star city but no matter how much they report or try other methods the kingdom will never act and it seems that it was even pro-acting the entire city from other city as well. After that, everyone gave up completely, and the Red Mountain's treasure became an unsolved, untouchable mystery. Underscore 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 ace and Eva stopped at the edge of the avenue which was situated near the forest. After resting for a little bit, they put on black robes with hoods that Eva has prepared before their departure, after all, they were going to invade a one-dot start city. Although the night was dark, a gentle silver dot white moonlight shone upon the land. This gentle pale aura allowed people not to be engulfed in utter darkness. In the pale moonlight, two silhouettes were silently moving towards the tall and prosperous city. Red Mountain City was vast and surrounded by thick walls. Ace looked at the endless wall and the moat outside of the city. Many people were going in and out of the enormous city gate, and many soldiers stood on the city wall. Next to the gate were many guards, they were clearly cultivators who were checking the other people's identity. Ace scanned those guards with true false eyes and saw they were a total of ten guards, three of them were at peaks of the Chi Gate's realm, and others were only at the fourth or third gate respectively. Wait for the chance and follow me closely don't fall behind or we have to go into the forest again. Ace chortled as he whispered to Eva in a joking way to reduce the pressure on them a bit. Eva didn't say anything she also knew that she at the peak of the Chi Gates was still inferior to Ace who was only at the third gate. Ace's eyes were fixed on the people who were going inside the gate and those coming out of it. 
BDNVL.MAs also noticed with his sole sense that those guards were relaxed and didn't do their job that seriously. They only checked their identity crystal with the big stone, collect the entry fee, and didn't pay much attention to them afterward. Suddenly, he spotted one big luxurious carriage followed by two small carriages moving towards the gate. Ace saw those guards have abandoned their posts and start to head towards that luxurious carriage in a hurry. Now. Ace single Eva with his hand and used stealth and silent steps, and like a loose arrow drift towards the unguarded city gates. Chapter 39 Red Mountain City Part 2, you are listening at NovelFull.audio After Ace move, Eva also used her special skill and followed him closely. She was astonished by the fact that she has to use her full power just to keep up with him. Everyone saw those guards going towards the carriage and stop moving they didn't dare to enter the city without those guards' permission because it was a crime and if they get caught then the punishment was very terrible. That's why those guards abandoned their posts because they knew no one would dare to break the rules. But no one notices two silhouettes sneak inside the city when everyone's attention was on that lavishing carriage. Succeed. Ace thought joyfully. He looks behind and saw Eva has also traversed the gate with him and beamed. He starts to move in a random direction, he wanted to go far away from the city gate before stopping. After they stopped moving they saw lively streets were covered with smooth bricks and were full of pedestrians, such a scene was clearly rare in a two-dot star city like River, Flower City. They quickly get rid of their black robes and start to move around the city. Ace has finally arrived inside of Red Mountain City. He curiously looked around. Before, he had thought that River, Flower City was quite big and lively, but now, he discovered that he was a frog in a well. He did not know just how vast this one-dot-star city was, but he knew that it was many times larger than River, Flower City. Ace saw many people were gathering in front of a long wall. Let's go there and see what is happening. Eva walks towards the long wall. She was quite curious about this big city and she wasn't as vigilant as Ace after crossing the city gate. He followed her and went over the wall, they found that a lot of information was put up on that wall. They were either giving some directions or some kind of other information. On top of everything, there was also a map of the entire city indicating some inns, well.known stores, city lord's mansion, and cultivation family's directions. The map itself was very detailed, Ace soon found where the important places were on the map. Another thing that had caught Ace's attention was that there was information regarding the buying and selling of items, looking for missing persons or items, and recruitment offers for various jobs. This was to help people who were new to Red Mountain City. They swept through the myriad of information. Eva pointed in a specific direction on the map and said to Ace, let's go to this inn, it's the best inn of the entire city that she wasn't reserved at all when she said that because she knows that Ace was rich after he robbed two of the most powerful families of a two-dot star city and he even got a storage ring. So, he can afford anything in this city. Let's go, I also want to see how grand a one-dot star city is. Ace smiled, he wasn't a stingy person, and since he has millions of ruby coins he didn't mind spending some. They followed the map's direction and quickly reached the grand hotel of the city. It was a big ten-dot story lavishing building. Ace was a little surprised by this it was really deserved its reputation as the best inn in the entire city. They both entered the inn and get two of the most luxurious room in the hotel for an entire month. Ace pays 20,000 ruby coins since he has the money he didn't feel much by this amount but those people around him clearly shocked by his wealth. Because by looks of his clothes he didn't look rich at all even the lady at the reception was stunned. Ace didn't mind all this since he was already inside the city no one would think that he has sneak inside. And all these hotels didn't check for information on their customers since most of them were usually cultivators they can't afford to offend them. Ace moved towards his room with Eva, they both were staying on the same floor and their rooms were also nearby. If something happened they can easily find each other. Entering his room, Ace saw all these luxurious items inside and big comfortable bedding. He couldn't help but felt the fatigue of all his missions and this journey, 
he was sleeping on the floor for at least one and half months. Because when he was in Grant's family he didn't get to sleep comfortably. But when he thinks about something he felt all of the stress go away in smoke because now he was finally alone and can turn all those pills inside his thief space into EXP. He didn't do it because he was with Eva all the time in wildness and didn't want to show her any more of his secrets. She didn't ask him about how he gets all these mysterious abilities before but she also knows the truth about his background. That's why he didn't want to show her any more and still had his guard up against her a little. But he still hopes that she wasn't this kind of person and it was all in his head. Ace sits calmly and transmitted eagerly, system convert all the lowest grade pills, white grade pills, into EXP. Other than white ranked pills he wanted to keep those green and blue ranked pills for an emergency. Equals 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 equals, system detects 756 lowest grade pills in host thief space, are you sure you want to convert all of them into EXP? Equals 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 Ace become astonished by these numbers he didn't expect that the Kelby family treasury would give him more white grade pills than Ryland's storage ring. He didn't even check all those treasures of the Kelby family since he thinks that they were not as valuable as Ryland's. But now he was thinking of sorting them out after this. Yes. He answered without any hesitation. Equals 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 equals, system has converted 756 lowest dot grade pills into 7560 EXP. Congratulation host on opening the fourth gate of heavenly gate. Host status has been updated. Equals 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 ace was very happy seeing all the EXP but after hearing about opening the fourth gate he becomes confused because he was clearly in the third gate. Before he could inquire about it he felt his heavenly chi start to surge. His organs start to absorb the heavenly chi at a high pace. He quickly closed his eyes and start to cultivate the heaven stealer's crystal body technique. After three hours Ace opened his eyes, he has finally stabilized his cultivation at the fourth stage of chi gates. The gate of organs really has been opened. It was a pleasant surprise. System why did I able to break through directly into fourth gate and without encountering any bottleneck? He was distracted by the fact because he has just break through 10 days ago, this kind of speed in cultivation is unheard of. Host has already formed the yellow, wind soul core in soul cultivation, it is equal to heavenly foundation building realm, that's why host didn't encounter any bottleneck. System answered emotionlessly. Are you telling me? I'm able to break through directly into heavenly foundation building realm as long as I have enough EXP. Then what about if my soul cultivation is equal to heavenly river realm? He asked frantically. Yes. Host guess is right as long as your soul or body cultivation is higher than others, you can directly break through into that same realm. Because the heaven stealer technique is basically one technique and this is also the advantage of cultivating both soul and body at the same time. The system confirmed it. Ace takes a deep breath of cold air, he finally understands why this technique was taboo and it has too many advantages and only one disadvantage. Like when he reaches the foundation building realm he will be facing the heavenly punishment and he has to withstand both body and soul punishment at the same time. He thinks it was a very low price to pay for the technique. Although, he won't understand it until he faced it. Now I only need EXP to build my heavenly foundation. It seems like I need to start my journey towards the most powerful city of the entire fourth level lands as soon as possible. I need to gather information tomorrow, first I have to find where that city is and how long will it take me to reach that city. I only have five years to complete my job mission. Ace mutter under his breath as he planned his next course of action. He takes a look at his EXP status. EXP 4470-10000, system if I convert all the pills inside my storage space how much EXP will I get? Since he can now break through to the next realm without any problem, he wanted to enter directly into the heavenly foundation building realm as soon as possible. Host can convert them into 4080 EXP. I still can't open the fifth gate of heavenly gates even after I convert all of my pills. 
he cites but after a moment a wicked smile creeped out on his face. Chapter 40 Kindness You are listening at NovelFull.audio After resting for the night, Ace was feeling refreshed. All his fatigue from the journey has vanished. Now he was ready to explore the city. He goes towards Eva's room and knocks on her door since they were together and she was also a member of his team, it would be rude for him to not take her with him. Eva comes out wearing a white dress with a beautiful flower pattern on it. She was still in her disguise but no matter how much she hides her true appearance she can't hide her nation toppling figure. She smiled seeing Ace and said charmingly, I was just about to look for you but you come for me instead. I wanted to explore the city and find some information so I thought it would be more convenient to take you with me since you were an expert on gathering information back home. He spouts some random nonsense while his eyes were unknowingly wandering around Eva's sexy body. Eva didn't mind his impolite gaze and said while beginning to walk. Let's go. We should take a stroll around this city marketplace. I also wanted to see this city's customs and other interesting things. Ace didn't say any more and walked beside her. He was also planning to go to the market and see if he can find what he was looking for. They both exit the inn and go in the direction of the city market. After walking for some time, they finally reached a crowded place. It was the biggest market of Red Mountain City. There were numerous shops of weapons, herbs, medicine pills, clothes shops. Eva's eyes were shining brightly after seeing all those beautiful clothing especially armors for females. She loved wearing light armor because she was used to them from a young age and now she felt uncomfortable if she didn't wear one. Ace has already given her a two-dot star weapon so she only wanted a new set of full-dot body armor. While Eva was checking all those clothes and armor shops, Ace has noticed something strange. He saw in this big market more than 80% of people didn't have any big bag or other stuff for holding things. He only saw little palm dot size colorful bags were hanging around their waist and all those who had them were also all cultivators. Ace finally couldn't hold his curiosity and stopped moving in front of a small bookstall. Eva saw him going to the small bookstall and also followed in confusion. A middle dot aged woman was standing in this stall, she was the owner. When she saw Ace and Eva were stop in front of her small stall she smiled kindly and asked, young lad, what kind of book do you need? After seeing that woman smiled kindly Ace nostalgically remembers an old auntie that was his neighbor in slums. She was poor just like him and had a little kid but her husband was killed by someone from the inner region because he accidentally touched that nobleman's clothes. She was just a powerless lowly woman so she didn't get justice all at. On the contrary, she got beaten because she wanted to get revenge on someone from the inner city. After making peace with the fact that she can't avenge her husband she gave up and starts to work just to raise her little kid. Ace was just shifted from his old parents' house in the slums at that time. That lady often gives him and Alina some food after she heard about they were orphans. She was feeble but was very kind.hearted. When Ace left that hut in the slums he leaves behind 300 ruby coins for that old auntie. Ace has nostalgic look in his eyes after seeing his lady and said politely, I wanted to buy some books on the information of cities, like which is the strongest city in the entire land of cities. He didn't want to buy anything first but after seeing her resembling that old auntie, he didn't want to disappoint her for some reason. That mid. Age woman smiled wide hearing Ace talk to her politely. He was her first customer and it was her first time that someone has talked to her this respectfully here. I have three books of this kind and one of them even has a rough map of the land of cities. If you want to buy a more detailed map you should go towards the De City Herbs Weapons Shop it is the biggest shop in the market and controlled by the city lord's family. Since he was respectful towards her, she gave him a suggestion kindly. Ace nodded his and said while smiling, I want to buy these three books and I'll go to that shop because auntie suggests it to me. She felt a little warm in her heart after he said that, you can have these books, they're not that expensive just consider it a gift from your aunt. She wraps those books and gives them to Ace. Ace was going to decline her offer but seeing her gentle smile and sincerity from her voice and soul he can't make himself hurt her kind feeling. 
After he thought of something he accepts the books politely. That lady smiled broadly after seeing him accepting her precious books, if not for her difficulty she would have never sold them. But giving them to Ace for free she was happy about it. Ace asked her about something that was the main point of him stopping at this small stall, Auntie I was curious about something, why do most of the people have those small colorful bags hung on their waist? She didn't mind his question after all this was the question that most of the people usually asked who were not from a one-dot-star city. She said while smiling, those bags are storage bags that can store objects without chi in them, they are common in one-dot-star cities and quite expensive. You can also buy them in that shop I mentioned before, I only know this much about them. Ace becomes astonished by this new information. He didn't think he could find something like this here. He thought that only space storage treasures can store objects inside them and they were all controlled by a kingdom level power, but he didn't expect that there are also these storage bags. Since they can't store objects with chi in them it must be the reason that they can be bought by ruby coins in one dot star cities. I have to get one it will be perfect camouflage for my thief space. I don't have to carry this useless bag and pretend all the time. He thinks. Thank you, auntie. I'll be going now you take care of yourself if I was still around the area I'll visit you again. Farewell. He doesn't want to delay her business anymore and head in the direction of the shop that she suggests. He wanted to buy this storage bag as soon as possible. Eva didn't say anything when he was having a conversation with that lady but when she heard about storage bags she also becomes excited and said to Ace cutely, Hey. I want one too. Ace couldn't resist her eager beautiful eyes and nodded helplessly. You're the old one here. Underscore 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 that lady saw both of them leave her little stall and sight. Looks like I still won't be able to make any money today. And Mloy illness is getting worse day by day. But I can't make myself take money from that little lad he was the same age as my Mloy and he was so polite. Did I have to sell my body after all just like that bastard said. Sighs, she was just thinking about a bastard when she saw there was a small bag under the other side of the stall that was no far away from her feet. She becomes astounded by it because it was the bag that Ace was carrying with him. How does it appear here from that lad's hands? She didn't think much about it and wanted to grab that bag and look for Ace to give it back to him. But before she could grab it and look for him she saw a note that was written on the back of the bag. Auntie this is also a small gift from nephew don't reject it. She smiled after reading this note and muttered softly, that brat. He must be a legendary cultivator since he was able to leave this bag and note without me noticing it. She didn't expect that a boy she was calling, Vlad, was a cultivator and he even wants to buy those old books from her. But why? She grabs the bag and felt it was quite heavy. She opens it to check just what was inside it and saw that bag was filled with glittering ruby coins. Oh Lord heavens! She exclaims in shock. She wasn't that poor after all she lives in a one-dot-star city but she was selling all her husband's old collection of books because her daughter has become ill and her husband suddenly went missing some years ago. She spends almost all of her husband's saving to search for him but it was all in vain. These books were his only memories left now but she was forced to sell them because of her ill daughter. These books were old and till now no one has bought even one. Ace was first to come to her small stall and wanted to buy these old books. But after seeing him this polite to her and called her, Auntie, she felt close to him and decided to give him these books for free. It was an unknown act of kindness from her heart. But she didn't expect him to return her kindness by giving her thousands of ruby coins that she needed desperately and she can't even thank him in person. Tears start to fell from her eyes as said towards the direction where Ace has vanished. Thank you for showing this kindness to me and my daughter will never forget about it ever.